right, uh, 21 minutes after 10 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. I have a, I have a, I don't know if I call this a, a hobby. It's not really a hobby, but I have something I like doing. I like living vicariously through people who actually travel. When you, when you do a radio show, you know, you don't travel a whole lot. You're pretty much in the studio every single day. So a lot of times we travel just by listening to people talk to us about traveling and uh, exploring. Uh, Leon Logothetis is on the phone. Thank you, Robin, for giving me the pronunciation. I hope I did okay. Uh, Leon is a global adventurer, the host of National Geographic Television, the host of his viral YouTube series called hashtag go be kind wow i'll have to check that one out he tours the country helping those in need oh i love this he's the host of his own show called the kindness diaries uh his book is called live love explore discover the way of the traveler a roadmap to the life you were meant to live this is not just about traveling this is about traveling and helping people i think it hits me in both sides of my heart uh leon logothetis good morning sir how are you I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Los Angeles. Okay. Well, thank you for getting up early to be with us today. Um, does this 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 kind of shows us a lot about yourself, doesn't it? And and has, have you always been the way the book makes it makes it out to be? I mean, have you always been the guy who likes to travel and likes to help out others? You know, uh, you know, when I was um, a kid, I was uh, I was bullied quite mercilessly, and um, I never understood why people would want to disempower. So I tried my best to turn that pain into something more positive, um, and uh, try and empower people. You know, and, and I've done it through traveling, and and others can do it in whatever way their heart desires. Really? Do you, do you just let it happen accidentally? Do you, do you wait till you bump into somebody who needs a little bit of encouragement, or do you seek people out specifically that you may have read about? Do you know, it depends. You know, in my everyday life, um, I try and do it, uh, it happens randomly. And then certain things like, for example, the Netflix show, The Kindness Diaries, uh, it was, you know, we, we figured it all out a little bit beforehand. Yeah. I, I love what you said earlier. You, you you can never understand why people make other people feel disempowered. I, I love that. It's, I've often wondered that, too. Why would you cut somebody down? It doesn't make you any better. I, but I, I'm on the same page with you with that regard. I, I, were you this way as a kid on the playground? If, if there was a kid being bullied, did you did you befriend him? Do you know, I did. I, I felt like a, a, a camaraderie with them and a sense of kind of, I, I get what you're going through because I'm going through it too. Really? So how does it manifest itself now that you're an adult? Um, and, and let's start with where you might be. Let Put us someplace else in the world that you've traveled to and, and, and take us to one of these um, Go Be Kind stories. So, for example, one of the Go Be Kind stories, I was in Denver, um, and I literally bumped into this chap uh, in downtown Denver, and he had a young child with him. Uh, his name was James, and uh, we got talking, and he told me about how he had moved to Denver, um, and things had not worked out, and he was living on the streets with his, with his, with his son. He had no job. And, and he, he just came from the heart. He was a beautiful, beautiful individual with like a, such a wonderful heart. Even though things weren't going well for him, he just oozed kind of kindness. Um, and we started chatting. I heard his story. And then with Go Be Kind, basically what I would do is I would give $1,000 to the person. How much? And obviously he was extremely happy. $1,000. A thousand? Wow. Are you a rich guy? How did you afford that? Uh, I, I, <laughs> um, I used to be a broker in the city of London, uh -huh. so uh, you know I, I made what I needed to make, and then I started to travel. Wow. Let me ask you this. Um, this is kind of maybe a, a, a weird question, but did you find good karma? Like, when you do good for other people, does good karma come your way? Look, I... I think what it, mostly about karma is that, uh, you know, when I go out and give of myself, I'm like in a vibration that is a, is a positive vibration. And when I'm reacting positively, when I'm feeling positive, then positive things normally tend to come my way. Mm -hmm. So if you want to call it karma, then, then yeah. yeah, I guess. I know karma is an often interesting word or reciprocity, something like that. But I'm just, I'm just wondering if you've noticed that because I've, I've often wondered if, 
All right. For example, when we were kids, we were told that there there are no magic words. All that stuff about magic words is fairy tale, right? And but then you, as an adult, you if you listen to an adult tell a child, you're never going to be anything. You're going to amount to nothing, right? You realize that they're, those are magic words, but they're negative magic words. They're like a, a curse. And meanwhile, the, the parent or the guardian who says to his child, you know what? You are so smart. You're going to be anything you want to be. Those are like magic words in the positive. And, and, and I've often wondered if, if people just don't realize that they're doing harm when they do negative words. Uh, I think I think you're absolutely right. Like when you when you said the mean thing, uh, I, inside I felt I felt down. When you said the positive thing, inside I started to sing. So it's it's definitely yes. words are very very powerful. Yes, they're very powerful. Absolutely. Um, well, I love the fact that you've combined something so great. It, it, just a, just a great thing. Even if you didn't travel and explore, I mean, you could do it right in your own backyard. But when you mix it with exploring, it's kind of like, you know, the, the hand of fate leads you to the different people that you meet. Absolutely. And that, that's the beauty of it. Like um, in the Kindness Diaries, when I was traveling around the world, um, I would meet, you know, so many random people, obviously, because I, I had no money. And it was just amazing, the stories that they told me. And uh, again, it was about empowering. Your line is muted. I've had many wonderful opportunities, and some people many people don't have the same opportunities that I've had and I wanted to kind of give it give back and give them the same opportunities and it's it's just a beautiful thing really it's just like I feel wow. blessed do you know um I, th I don't know if George Harrison made this line up or if he took it from somebody else but it said he wrote in a song George Harrison the Beatle I mean he's he wrote uh a pebble in the water must. Your line is unmuted. Oh, stop that! Who, who is that? <laughs> a pebble, a pebble in the water must cause some kind of a stir, and and that's what you're doing. I mean, every little thing you're doing is making a big difference. Do you know? I hope so. Um, and it all goes back to to you know being at school and and uh, suffering. And I know that there are many people out there that suffer, uh, and I know that each one of us knows people out there that suffer. And simply going out into the world and sharing your love and sharing your heart mm -hmm. as often as you can because we're not perfect is a beautiful thing. Wow. You're an amazing guy. I, I'm a fan. Um, Ligo, uh, Le Leon Logothetis, I hope I'm saying your name right, Leon, um, has this beautiful book, Live, Love, Explore. Call me if you want the copy that was sent to me. I put the picture of the book up on our streaming video that we're doing right now. Um, Leon, do we go to your website for the book or do we go to Amazon? Where do we go? Amazon is the best place, but also any bookshops, they have it. You've got 22 customer reviews. You've got four and a half stars. Good good wow. for you. A lot of fivers. A lot of five-star reviews. Um, Leon, thank you. G good luck with everything, and uh, definitely come back. We'd love to see you in the studio if you're ever in Florida. Thanks, man. I'll do that. Thank you. We will be right back. News Radio, I'm Pat O'Neill. Trade will be one topic when President Trump meets with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau this morning. The president has signaled his intention to renegotiate the North American Free Trade Agreement, saying that NAFTA is a bad trade deal for America. Border security and defense will also be discussed. The two leaders have differing views about immigration.